Andy now, about tomorrow. There have been a lot of memorable days in our country's history, but some of them we'd rather forget. September 11th, 2001 is one of those. It isn't a day to celebrate, but it's a day we shouldn't forget either. We need some word other than holiday to call some of our memorable days. Pearl Harbor, December 7th, 1941, was one of the worst days in our country's history. The day John F. Kennedy was assassinated was a bad day. It was a death of just one man, but JFK was so very American that we all died a little when he died. Presidents James Garfield, William McKinley, and of course Abraham Lincoln were all assassinated. If you're the president, you must think about them every time you go out in public. I hope we're more careful protecting our president now. The Wall Street stock market crash in 1929 was a different kind of disaster. We went into Iraq March 20th, 2003. They won't be closing the banks on March 20th every year to celebrate that. The Three Mile Island nuclear disaster in 1979 might have wiped out our civilization. Most of our disasters have had some natural origin. Floods, too much water. How often have you seen this picture? Hurricanes and tornadoes, too much wind, too much rain. Droughts may be worse, but not so dramatic as hurricanes because they don't happen on just one day. The disaster on September 11th wasn't like any of those. It was man-made, death by design. Some people who hated Americans set out to kill a lot of us, and they succeeded. Americans are puzzled over why so many people in the world hate us. We seem so nice to ourselves. They do hate us, though. We know that, and we're trying to protect ourselves with more weapons. We have to do it, I guess, but it might be better if we figured out how to behave as a nation in a way that wouldn't make so many people in the world want to kill us.